okay. No? Okay. Thank you. Can you see vertically? Vertical. Can you see vertically? Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear? Checking, checking. Vertical. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Sideways, sideways. Turn, turn the camera. This way. So this way you are seeing wider way. Okay. Oops, excuse me. Okay, uh -huh. perfect, thank you.
Okay then, hello everyone. Thank you for coming to Wednesday online service. Due to some situation, we are now changing to Sunday to Wednesday at this time. And then thank you for your patience as I try to uh, learning the how to setting. Thank you for your patience. So next time, I hope I can improve. And then as you know, by the way, can you hear? I hope you can hear my voice. Again, if you cannot hear, could be you can leave a comment. And then again later, I'll try to improve. So again, as you know, we are in the situation of the stay at the home, work from home. Therefore, now I'm having a Wednesday night of service for my personage. So this is like a, a, my altar here. But due to again some technical problem, you don't see the altar, but I do have an altar in here too. So you can see everything over here, the words. Okay, so today you may not see my uh, face. I hope you can hear my voice and then chanting. Thank you again for coming to watching this service. I hope let us have a peaceful moment together. So now we have a golden chain of love. Please put the hand together in God's show. I am a link in Amida Buddha's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I must keep my link bright and strong. I will try to be kind and gentle to every living thing. I'm the protect of who are weaker than myself. I'll try to think pure and beautiful thoughts, to say pure and beautiful words, and to do pure and beautiful deeds. Knowing that on what I do now depends not only my happiness or unhappiness, but also that of others. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. No more me doubt, no more me doubt, no more me doubt, no more. Now we have a meditation, and today I want to do with a grateful meditation. So when we have a meditation, think about the person you are grateful for. Yeah, think of the person you are grateful for. I ring a bell as a beginning and then as a conclusion I ring one more time. No more me dobits, no more me dobits, no more me dobits, no more me dobits, no more me dobits. Now we had a chanting of Vandananti Sarana.
Today's chanting is a gasho to Amita.
We are born in the land of peace. <laughs> So if you have a uh, incense in your home, now it's time to offer incense. Namo Amidabut, Namo Amidabut, Namo Amidabut, Namo Amidabut, Namo Amidabut. So still, can you hear me? You can, if you can help me, uh, try to set things.
So in today, thank you for watching Kuna Honganji Buddhist Temple uh, Wednesday night of service. Again, due to some uh, uh, technical problems, uh, you didn't see me while chanting, but the uh, next time I'll try to improve. Again, uh, today uh, I do appreciate your time and then attendance. I think uh, this is our first time to try this way, but uh, I felt I'd like to share uh, teaching so Buddhism of this time. So today's my title is uh, In Times of Difficulty I Do. In Times of Difficulty I Do. So I think uh, today I want to begin our service with uh, these words by the Master Shinlan. So if you can join me uh, putting hand together. Master Shinran said, Seeing the sentient beings of the name Buddha throughout the world, countless as particles in the ten quarters, the Buddha grasps and never abandons them, and therefore is named Amida. Namo Amida Buddha, Namo Amida Buddha, Namo Amida Buddha, Namo Amida. So again, today I want to begin with uh, this also question. So in times of difficulty, what do I miss? Or in times of difficulty, what do I want? So could be, I think uh, there are so many things we are missing or we want. Could be, I put in this way. We may say my routine, my daily life. Like a school, work, hobby, volunteer, Las Vegas, classes, coffee hour, shopping, socializing, friends, talk story, trip, babysitting, shake hands, hand. So this can be like a something we cannot do now. Yeah, due to the uh, lockdown and then stay at home, work from home. These are things we cannot do now. Therefore, uh, we wish we can do again. So that could be the something we miss, my routine, my daily life. Or we may want this too. Like a peace, harmony, comfort, freedom, safety, happiness, of course yeah, no more worries. Yeah. We want that situation. We don't have to worry anymore. But uh, those things, yeah, don't you think uh, when we can do these things? When we can do these things, did you miss it? Like uh, when you go to work, after work, you're coming back to home. Did you miss your work? Oh, I miss my work so much. I want to go again. Or after you had a good time with your friends. When you come back to home, do you feel again? I want to see them again. Yeah, we may do, but uh, not like uh, really missing. Because yeah, when we have those things, we can do. Therefore, like a uh, it's like a nothing special because I can do again weekly, weekly. But now, under the situation of this situation, we cannot do these things. Now we found actually this is wonderful things we can do. Only after we lose or we cannot do, now we awaken. Oh, these are actually wonderful things. My children can go to school and then I can take them to school. I take them home and then spending time together. Once a week, I can have a coffee hour. But now we cannot do. We now miss the time laughing, talking. So it's a something yeah, we human beings, we often realize after 
losing something or cannot do anymore, we realize how wonderful it was. So today, uh, in this situation, telling us deeply appreciate what we have now today. Yeah, but uh, however, now in this situation, we cannot do these things. Therefore, we need uh, something of uh, comfort. So therefore, today I want to show one picture. Uh, do you know what this is? Yeah, if you like uh, music, you know it. Yeah. Like a metronome, like a tick, 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 tick. Like having a certain beats in the music or when you want to play musical instrument. Yeah, basically, as you can see, yeah, we have a, like this a movement we can see. Going to this way and then going to that way. Like a continue to having a rhythm beating. Going to this way and then coming back. And the fan passing this section, it makes a sound beat. And again going to this side. Yeah. They continue to going this way, back and forth, back and forth. They continue as a one rhythm. And it could, today we may try to uh, think about this uh, movement. We may try to think like this. Yeah. So like a, this is like a good part or something good, something happy, something peaceful we want, we like. And that side is something bad we don't want. This can be uh, our anger, worries, concerns, uh, stress. Uh, uncertainty or so much worries this side so when we think about our situation which side do you think we are in are we in good side or bad side could be of course so we will think now we are in the situation of bad side so much worries concerns you yeah. it's true yeah. We want could be only good side, yeah? We don't want bad side. But uh, when we think about the uh, metronome, yeah? Metronome can work as this uh, function because of going to move, yeah? This side, this side. And that side, this side. If this has only one side, this doesn't function as a metronome. Only like a one way. To work as this uh, metronome, they need this way, again that way. So not like uh, two sides, just a uh, one oneness we can find. In the same way, we may think, ah, we are not in so bad, so bad. Or what could be we want to think, we want only good things. If we try to apply into our life, we need both or only oneness and then in buddhism teaching we say truth of impermanence everything is changing depending on situation and then causes so therefore even this situation doesn't last forever it will change because like a movement everything changing so it's like again our life Buddhism telling us no such a one side, good or bad. It's a totally truth of life, oneness, including good or bad. It's my life, my day. Every day is out of my special life. Every day, whatever, good or bad. It is a your special day out of your life. However, again, as a human being, yeah, we are going through so many things. Even my heart, I may think I'm so happy in this way, but suddenly it could be my heart can be changing. So depending on situation, convenience, my heart, my mind is uh, changing, changing, continue to changing, changing. So therefore, yeah, like a metronome, we need something 
something we can return to the position. Like that this metronome then continue to moving back and forth, back and forth, but they can return anytime. They can continue to return to the position. Therefore, this is so important. This point. Yeah, because of this point, they can continue to move. And how about our human being life? We're going through so many things, but what is this in your life? You have it in your root, in your life. Whatever you are going through, you are sure you, you are okay. You can come back to any time because of this circle. I may call it, this is also Buddha's vow. And it could be even to myself, I believe today my mother, she's watching my uh, message. Also, by the way, today, uh, I want to just uh, make sure you, you, you hear my voice. So if you can take your time to type my birthday, I want to make sure you, you can hear my voice volume. So if can you type my birthday, my birthday, can you type? Did you hear? Can you hear my voice, my request? Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> if you don't know, my birthday is uh, January 3rd. It's uh, something today you can remember. So again, Kupia, thank you. So my birthday is uh, January 3rd. So I think even my mother, today I think she's watching. So it's like a Kupi, I may say, it's like my life. My life also like uh, going this way in that way. Now, I may say people tell me, Oh, Reverend, you are good. You are so kind. You are good. But uh, when I was a teenager, I was really cold hate. Kolohe so rascal. When I say in that way, people don't believe me. But truly, I was Kolohe. Like uh, doing something bad, uh, don't listen to my brother, sister, parents, and totally I'm doing whatever I want to do. Like uh, doing that way, coming to this way. Totally, I was lost in my life. Yeah, however, like uh, this section, I may say now, my father, mother, no matter where I'm going, whatever I'm going through, they are forever here. So I can return anytime. I'm going this way, that way, but they are holding my life. They are my root. Therefore, whatever I'm going through, I can return to this position. Then I feel whatever I'm going through, I'm not alone. Yeah, so Buddha never, Amida Buddha never tells us in this situation, don't be panic, don't be worried, don't be greedy, be kind. Buddha never tells me to change. What Amida Buddha tells me is, accept me as I am, embrace me as I am. If I'm panic, I can be panicked with Amida Buddha. If I'm concerned, I can be concerned with Amida Buddha. Whatever I'm going through, changing, changing my life. Therefore, Amida Buddha's vow, embrace me and then totally accept me, no matter what. So therefore, Buddha's vow, this is a Buddha's wish for me and then for you. Bring true peace and tranquility to all beings and then liberate all from suffering. 
This is Buddha's wish for me and then to me. Bring true peace and tranquility. And then liberate us from suffering. So happiness, give you happiness. No more worries. That is a Buddha's promise. Therefore, our founder said, Seeing the sentient, sentient beings of the name Butsu throughout the world, countless as particles in the ten quarters, the Buddha grasps and never abandons them, and therefore is named Amida. So Amida Buddha totally seeing, knowing, embracing all of us, and then once accept, embrace, Buddha never let us go alone. Once embrace, never forsaken, forever together. So therefore again, like a metronome, yeah, we are going through so many things yeah, even today. So difficult, yeah, truly we are feeling difficulty, having a good and then bad, good and then bad. But not if we can receive here, Amida Buddha's compassion, wisdom. Once I embrace you, I'll never let you go alone. Whatever you are going through, I'm your home. You can return anytime. That is a Buddha's compassion. Then when we encounter this compassion, yeah, it will this way. So including good and then bad, whatever we are going through, we are Buddha's embrace. And then the point is, yeah, actually, Amida Buddha's compassion never has such a boundary, no such a uh, boundaries. We call boundless compassion, which means uh, Buddha's compassion embracing everybody, including me. But does compassion loving everybody as they are. So therefore me, you, and the person in the town, they are also the person who is in the embrace of Buddha's compassion and wisdom. Yeah. Those people is not just uh, strangers. They are the person, same as me, same as you, who are loved by Buddha. So therefore, if you see anybody in a shopping center or driving a car, anywhere, any place, if you see somebody, yeah, we are learning, yeah, try to think of others. Not only think of yourself, thinking of others. Yeah. But it's not easy yeah, because we get to make sure health and then protect my family and then my friends. Yeah. But if you can think in this way, Buddha's compassion embracing everybody like Buddha embraced me. If you can think in that way, this person, that person, we are all together in that Buddha's embrace. You are honorable friends. You are my honorable practitioners. Together, we are in the embrace. In that way today and from tomorrow, we are going through so many things that we can say in times of difficulty, I say, Namo Amitabutsu. Whatever I'm going through, Buddha's compassion forever embracing me. As a conclusion, please uh, put your hand together uh, in the show. Master Shinnan said, Seeing the sentient beings of the name Buddha throughout the world, countless as particles, in the ten quarters, the Buddha grasps and ne never abandons them, and therefore is named Amida. Namo Amida Buddha, Namo Amida Buddha, Namo Amida Buddha, Namo Amida Buddha, Namo Amida Buddha. So now we have a singing of Gatha, Buddha's Great Light.
reading of taking refuge. I take refuge in the Buddha, the one who shows me the way in this life. I take refuge in the Dharma, the way of understanding and of love. I take refuge in the Sangha, the community that lives in harmony and awareness. Dwelling in the refuge of Buddha, I clearly see the path of light and beauty in the world. Dwelling in the refuge of Dharma, I learn to open many doors on the path of transformation. Dwelling in the refuge of Sangha, shining light that supports me, keeping my practice free of obstruction. Taking refuge in the Buddha in myself, I aspire to help all people recognize their own awakened nature, realizing the mind of love. Taking refuge in the Dharma in myself, I aspire to help all people fully master the ways of practice and walk together on the path of liberation. Taking refuge in the Sangha in myself, I aspire to help all people build full communities to embrace all beings and support their transformation. Namo Amida Namo Amida Now we do have a chanting of Nembutsu. Again today, thank you so much for watching and then taking your time to see this uh, online Wednesday service. Just a one announcement is one of the reasons we are having uh, tonight is 
Now, from this coming Sunday, Hawaii District Ministers Association we now uh, consist of Hiro, Kuna, Papaiko, Kona, and the Homaka. 13, 13 temples on this big island. Our association, each minister share Dharma message, recorded Dharma message every Sunday, 9 o'clock. You can watch the service at the 9 o'clock. Hiro and the Puna Honganji Facebook, Facebook page. So please uh, watch this one too. So again, today uh, I do appreciate your patience and attendance. So again, if you can leave any comments so I can improve our service too. Again, I, I'll try to improve our uh, service format too. So again, as a conclusion, if you join me putting hand together as we sang the song, in times of difficulty, I say Namo Amida Butsu. Whatever we may go through, we have a foundation in our life roots, forever sustains our life, which is Buddha's compassion and then wisdom. In times of difficulty, I say Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Again, today, thank you so much. Have a, a nice tomorrow, too, Thursday. Again, thank you. Take care. Mahalo.